Just in time for springtime, we're checking out the top beauty trends for 2022. How about that? Alba Ramos is with us this morning, and she is a beauty expert and an influencer, and she has teamed up with Whole Foods. We know them, we know them and love them, and she's going to show us some great products. Alba, good morning to you. Good morning, Jack. So you've teamed up with that good grocery store. <laughs> they have a whole lot more than groceries. They're good old friends there. What you got for us this yes. morning, are there trends? Something that I'm all about is clean ingredients and transparency. And I love that Whole Foods market standards go beyond the typical clean beauty claims. They have banned more than 180 ingredients in personal care products and body care products like parabens, microbeads, and triclosan, which we do not want. So you won't find that in any of the personal care products and body care products at Whole Foods. Tell me this, uh, summer's coming, spring first, we will get them out of order. But is there something you can advise or maybe a product uh, for sun, sun protection? Yes, well for summer, sunscreen is huge, right? And it's so important. And I love that skincare brands these days are rising to the occasion by ditching the white cast that we typically see in sunscreens. And instead are formulated with non-nano zinc, which is more translucent and less visible onto the skin. And one of my favorites is actually this one by Coco Kind. This, this is the SPF 25 Daily Wear Sunscreen. And there's no oxybenzone in this uh, sunscreen as well because Whole Foods has banned certain ingredients that are very common like oxybenzone and octane oxide so you can feel better about your sunscreen. Well they are much better to use I'm sure than some of these products we find now. Uh, let me ask you this should we prioritize maybe some of the skincare products and beauty products is there a priority to what we need to look for first? Yes, well, I always look for clean ingredients and transparency, as I said, but also high quality and good value. Now, how long have you been uh, working with our friends at Whole Foods? Well, I'm actually a personal shopper at Whole Foods myself in my personal life, but I have worked with them many times in the past, and it's something that's very personal to me as a mom and as an influencer. It's what I'm all about, so this comes natural to me. <laughs> Being an influencer, so in other words, you're online. Is there a way we can go online and maybe find out more? Yes, well first, let me remind you that Whole Foods Beauty Week is coming up on March 16th, so people can take advantage of the beauty sale that's going on there, and they'll have their beauty bags on March 18th, which you'll see some of these products in there as well. And you can go to WholeFoodsMarket.com for everything we spoke about here today and more. So March 18th is a big day at Whole Foods. Very good. Are yes. there any other products or anything else you'd like to mention? Yes, well, here's a good trend that's happening a lot, which is with succulents. I've been seeing that in food and drinks for years. And the prickly pear fruit in specific contains amino acids, vitamin E and vitamin K, which help provide that nourishing glow that we love for our skin. And the Karuna cleansing oil and sleeping mask is a great addition to include prickly pear into your routine. A lot of good information, Al, but we appreciate it an influencer and a beauty expert. We have her right here on TV7. Alba Ramos, thank you so much this morning. Thank you so much.